Although Finland is just a small country in northern Europe, it has also kept up with the technological development in Europe, especially in the field of military technology. Although it cannot achieve comprehensive development, it still has a certain say in some areas. It has developed many technologically advanced weapons and equipment, such as the 155K98 155mm howitzer, which is one of the best field howitzers in the world today. This howitzer was developed in the late 1990s. At the beginning of its development, it was in a stage where countries around the world were increasing the caliber of their 155mm cannons from 45 times to 52 times, and the range of the cannons was raised to a new level. The barrel of the cannon has been increased to 52 times the caliber, and a single-chamber muzzle brake is installed at the muzzle, while the breech is a semi-automatic horizontal wedge breech. The elevation and direction mechanisms of the cannon are arranged on the left side of the barrel, and the display of the fire control system is also located here. The cannon has a set of pneumatic rapid loading mechanism, which not only reduces the labor burden of the crew, but also achieves a firing rate of 10 rounds per minute. The cannon has a wide range of angle adjustments. After entering the position, the elevation angle of the cannon is 5 dig to 70 dig and the direction firing sector is 45 dig on each side. However, when the auxiliary power is installed, the direction firing sector is reduced to 35 dig on each side. The range varies with different ammunition, generally between 30 and 40 kilometers, and the maximum range increases to 42 kilometers when firing low trajectory extended range projectiles. The cannon is mounted on a simple four-wheel carriage, and there is also a tail wheel on the open rear carriage. The carriage can be expanded to a large extent, making it convenient for soldiers to operate the cannon. There is also a retractable support point below the carriage, like a simple gun mount, but its function is only auxiliary, used to stabilize the firing platform. The auxiliary power of the cannon is placed at the front end of the cannon using a 78 kWh engine, which also provides power for the expansion of the carriage. The driver sits in the front left and can choose between two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive, with corresponding maximum speeds of 7.5 km per hour and 15 km per hour, providing necessary mobility for the cannon. The front end is also equipped with headlights and other structures like a normal truck. When driving with self-propelled power, the muzzle needs to face backwards. The mobility of the cannon mainly relies on towing, allowing a towing speed of 100 kilometers. Although many new types of cannons now have auxiliary power, the power of the 1M55K98 is relatively sufficient. It can not only... In addition to being equipped by the Finnish military, this cannon has also been exported. In a deal with Egypt, Finland specifically developed a self-propelled cannon on the chassis of the T-55 tank. This prototype was handed over to Egypt, but no further production was carried out. Nevertheless, installing such a large-sized cannon on a chassis with five pairs of load-bearing wheels looks very uncoordinated. 